30 seconds. Christmas scene selection. I am Antonio Costa. And I'm Monte Bruno. We are coming to you live from the world famous Aunt Mary's Kitchen in Madden. And we have to tell you, this food looks good. It sure does. But this is not what this night is about. Yeah, we are here tonight to settle the all important question what is the reason of Christmas? The Christmas season has become saturated with all types of characters, each wanting to be the main focus of this season. So, the International Council of Elders have come together to put in its symbol a special, a special scene of symbolizing the main focus of Christmas. This is how it's going to work. The supporting cast will be announced first and, and the final selection will be the main focus of Christmas. This is turning out to be a very big night. A lot of candidates are hoping to get this once in a lifetime opportunity. The committee has been working all night and all day and there has been some very intense debates. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting night. Let's take a look at some of the first candidates. There's the Nutcracker, one of tonight's hopeful. Yeah, I hear he has been working on some new dances for the Christmas scene. There's the Little Drummer Boy, one of tonight's favorites. I hear he has been in the studio working on some new beats. And there is Santa Claus. I hear that he's looking for a career change. Yeah. Apparently, the long Christmas nights are getting to him. And honestly, going down those chimneys, all the time has to do a good job on the back. Frosty's at home chilling. The Easter Bunny, a very unusual candidate. Wait, wait. The Grinch was going to be in attendance, but apparently he has been arrested? Theft again. No, destruction of public property. Apparently, he got into a fight with a Christmas tree. Eggnog was involved. When will the Grinch get his act together? Oh, and here is our first selection coming now. Good evening, and welcome to our first and only Christmas scene draft selection. The Christmas season has always been a season of celebration. But this season has also come with a lot of challenges. Where should our focus be? Who should be the reason for the season? Whose story should be told? Those selected today will forever be memorialized for their part in the Christmas narrative. Selections today will start from least to most important. The final selection will be the central figure of the Christmas scene, and thus the central figure of Christmas. And now, our first selection. Our first selection for the Christmas scene is the Shepherds. Okay, I'm not really sure where they're going with this. Yeah, I'm a little confused. They're shepherds. They take care of sheep and all, but they can be kind of smelly at times. There are a lot of shepherds out there. How is this going to work again? I don't know, but maybe we can get some answers from some of their representatives. On the line now, we have Dan, Benjamin, and Joe Shepherd, three brothers who have been abiding in the field, watching over their flock their entire lives. Congratulations on being the first pick of the Christmas draft. How do you feel? Oh man, this is wonderful. The first pick of the draft. It's such an honor to be a part of the Christmas scene. As you know, there are a lot of shepherds in the world. Exactly. Who would be in the Christmas scene? There only needs to be one shepherd, and that shepherd is going to be me. Oop. 
think you? Me. I'm the best shepherd, so I should be in the Christmas scene. You can't even wear the difference between a sheep and a goat. Yeah, Dan, you tried to take a goat to the bed, but you thought one of your sheep grew horns. Hey, that was one time, and moonshine was involved. Yeah, one time, moonshine. I, I think you've been drinking way too much of that moonshine. Everyone knows that I'm the best shepherd. And what have you been smoking? Your sheep don't even know your voice. Yesterday, you went out with 10 sheep and came back with three goats and a horse. Yeah, it took them all night to find them sheep you lost. I'm just tired of both of y'all. I like you all that. I got something for y'all. <laughs> what you got, Bill? Well, hopefully they will work things out. Not many really big guys. I don't know. That small guy can move. And it looks like he has a good right hook. Let's pray for a peaceful resolution. Here comes the second pick. Our second selection for the Christmas scene is the Angel Gabriel. First the shepherds, now an angel or the angel. What in the world is going on? I don't know, but Gabriel in on video call right now? Let's get his reaction. Don't be afraid. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just that every time I appear to people, I have to introduce myself in that way. People scare very easily. Well, it's not every day an angel appears to you. True, true. Anyway, I'm so overjoyed to be a part of the Christmas scene. Of all times I visited mankind, Christmas was my favorite time. I remember it like yesterday. God told me to go down to Nazareth and give a certain young lady a very specific message. He told me to give the message to her exactly like he was going to give to me. He knows I get a little long-winded sometimes. Anyway, it was a clear night in the town of Nazareth, which is an absolute beautiful little town. And the people are so friendly, and the food is great. There was this one ah, restaurant Gabriel. that has this absolute wonderful dish. That sounds like a go. very interesting story, but we really got to go. A little long-winded. Okay. That's two down. Let's see who is still left on the board. Santa Claus is still available. Little drummer boy, still drumming. Easter Bunny is still hopping around. Yeah, I still don't know how he got in this thing. Oh well, I think Santa Claus is next up. We could use some joy and some happiness. Oh, here comes our next selection. Hello, we hope that you're enjoying watching this as much as we enjoyed making it. Uh, if you like what you see and you want to see us do more, it would be a great help if you could donate to the Church and the Media Ministry. And you can do that by going to our church website, www.embcmanning.org, clicking on Give the Fly, and clicking on the Media Ministry folder. If you want your church or theater group to perform this, the script is also available for purchase through my personal website, www.vicwestp.com. You can click on Scripts for Sale. Ladies and gentlemen, our next selection for the Christmas scene is The Wise Man. Wow, The Wise Man. Why not? We have shepherds, an angel, why not add some wise men? I have to say, I was not expecting this. I thought this was a sure lock for Santa Claus. I have to tell you, I think I know where they are going with this. Let's hear from the wise men, Mr. Majai. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is a great honor. So, there are a lot of wise men out there. How are you going to decide who gets to be in the Christmas scene? Well, in anticipation of this, we have been discussing and we have decided to rotate on a three wise man basis. Wow. 
Hawaii. All right, only three spots left. Yeah, I think the next two spots will tell us who's number one, the reason for this season. And they are wasting no time. Here comes Mr. D'Angelo looking really excited. Ladies and gentlemen, our next two selections are Joseph and Mary. Ah, I know where this is going. And Mr. Fred D'Angelo is wasting no time. He cannot wait to make this announcement. We have come to the number one pick in the draft. And the number one pick the reason for the season, baby Jesus. And there you have it. Santa Claus, Nutcracker, Drummer Boy, still on the board, but Jesus gets the number one slot. This is all about him. Absolutely. I tell you, this choice comes as shock to some. I can't wait to see the reactions from those who have been left out. Yeah, we'll get to them in a minute, but first, here is Mr. Frank D'Angelo coming to explain this pick. We finally decided on Baby Jesus because there is none like him. He is the fulfillment of prophecy. Born of a virgin, sinless. Nobody on earth is doing that. We tried adult Jesus, but he really didn't fit in the manger. And I believe one time he broke it. And when we really look at it, adult Jesus has the resurrection and the second coming. So that's two appearances for adult Jesus. And now only one appearance for baby Jesus. No brainer. So in honor of baby Jesus, we are giving this scene the name Nathan. Wait a minute. Ah, uh, we are getting some statements from some of the candidates. Let's go to Santa Claus. I can't believe this. I'm here in the North Pole stuck. All this snow, all this ice, all these elves and these elves. Oh my goodness, they are pain in the rear end. I mean, please, they getting on my nerves. That way. The kids are looking forward oh, to please. This is killing me. I mean, oh. great goodness. All these snacks and stuff that these people are leaving for me. I, I, I just can't believe it. nobody bakes anymore. Man, they bring these lame cookies and all these lame snacks and stuff. Man, Betty Crocker can just kiss my. Santa, Santa. Santa. Oh, later for the cookies. Is this camera on? Yeah, we hear you sound oh, loud. Man, please. I, this, this. Some hot chocolate. Maybe that Why? Way. This is killing me. Get, a, get that out of the way. Oh, this doesn't make any sense. I mean, why? I mean, my goodness, why can't people act right? Why? I mean, this doesn't make any sense. Why do I do this? Why? No appreciation, none at all. Wow. One word. Good. Prozac. That too. Oh, here's a little drummer boy. Hey, I just finished this new beat for the Christmas scene. I'm looking forward to getting picked. I'm going to turn it off. Uh, the draft is over. What? Yeah, the draft is over. You didn't get in. I'm the drummer boy. What do you mean I didn't get in? Sorry, man. You didn't get in. Well, who got in? Well, baby, baby Jesus is number one. Yeah, Jesus loves a good beat. Joseph and Mary, two and three. Yeah. Yep, gotta bring the parents. Wise. Yeah, that's wise. Angel Gabriel. Nice guy. I heard he could be a little talkative at times. Finally, shepherds. What? Shepherds? Those dirty, smelly, good for nothing? All you do is hang outside and look for the dumbest creatures on earth. This isn't fair. Tell those shepherds when I see them, I want to smoke. Uh, I'm not sure you want to fight with shepherds. They kill lions, bears, giants. I want to smoke. Okay, I'll let them know. 
Speaking of the Shepherds, it looks like the Shepherds have come to a resolution. After much debate, we have decided that all the Shepherds will appear on a three Shepherd rotation. All right, glad to see you all worked that out. Oh, and little drummer boy wanted me to tell you that he wants smoke with you? Who is this drummer boy? I'm the drummer boy. What you got? Uh, 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 okay, Mr. Drummer boy. You don't want these problems. I want all the problems. I have the problems. And there you have it. Shepherds, wise men, in. Santa Claus, drummer boy, out. The reason for the season? Jesus. Have a good night, everybody, and a Merry Christmas. Please. Calm down. Yeah. Only for one night. Oh, one night too many. Oh, man. Rudolph couldn't find his way out of a wet paper bag. Oh, Santa, don't say that. I've been having so many years. Oh, Santa. Mm -hmm. Who says I'm going? Oh, you can't disappoint the kids. <laughs> I'm disappointed. I'm going to share it. Well, that's an insult to treat the kids like that, Santa. How did they treat me? Nice, Santa. They love you. <laughs> Last time somebody sat on my lap, my lap got wet. Oh, that was because the pins wasn't working, Santa. <laughs> because the kids been drinking too much. Santa. Oh, darling, don't be Those kids can anyway. Oh, Santa. Mm.